Hello, my angels. So, sadly, the Bottega bag came in. I opened it and I'm returning it. I just want to show it to you guys. I was really excited to get this. I couldn't even wait. It came like this. It was from Rebag. And I love the bag. It just doesn't fit my phone. And I'm not ever going out without my phone unless I buy one of these foldable phones, which I don't see myself doing. Or I buy a smaller phone, which I will never do. Ugh. So this is the bag. And it has these two tags that weren't attached because it's a bag. And this is the Bottega bag. And it's very different. It's unique. I love it. I love everything about it. It has the Bottega Veneta right there. Ugh, it, the leather stick. It's just, it feels so nice in my hands. You open it like that. You just push it. I bought another bag that's also small. That's coming in. I can't return it because it's from Japan. Um, and it's navy blue with the with the intricato ribbed the way I like it and then it has a soft knot like this but it looks like United Colors of Benetton all over here so it's all different colors I think it's called the the Rasta R-A-S-T-A the Rasta bag it was super cute and I I mean I love this bag but this is my phone and I don't know where I found it. I don't know where it went. I don't know how it could have disappeared. There it is. Oh, this is a shirt I'm wearing today. It's like supposed to be the color of the season. I don't know how I got it. It's just in my house now. This is my phone. Right, I have another one. I have a backup phone. I just haven't activated it. You guys know that. I'm like waiting till this phone's like completely dead. And look. I can't even close it. So I'm never going to get a smaller phone. I measured it and it said 17 centimeters and I thought it was going to fit, but it doesn't because it's it just doesn't. And, um, so upset. I love this bag. This is the small, so I can never buy the small. I can only buy the medium or the large because the small is never going to fit my phone. And I'm not the kind of girl that I'm going to go out without my phone unless I have like a husband that's different. And then we'll have his phone. And I feel comfortable not having my phone, but I don't have a husband, so I'm not going to feel comfortable. I was thinking of maybe keeping it for that day, but the truth is, I love this bag. I know it's wild, it's crazy, it's out there, but that's just like me. Um, but I just can't justify spending 500 something dollars on a bag that I can't use all the time, considering that I just bought one that I can't return. This I could return. Isn't it pretty though? I'll put the link below if anybody really, really likes it and they want it. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? I know it's, it's, it's an acquired taste. I really like it, but I'm returning it. I already printed the label. I'm really upset about that. Um, but now I know I can't buy any of the small clutches from Bottega. The one that I was going to buy was a small clutch. So now I have to go see if Bottega has the one that I want, um, to buy for myself for my birthday. It's like $3,300 if they have it in other sizes, because if they only have it in the small, I can't do it. Um, I have the iPhone XR, so they're only bigger after this one. Um, maybe if I take the case off, let's try it with the case off. I don't think it's going to work. I keep forgetting. I put $25 behind my phone. Every time I take the case off, I'm like, Oh yeah, I have emergency money that I never remember is there. I always end up going to the ATM. No. It's still not. It's still not going to close. I really love it. I love it. I love this part right here. This one. I love the way that it's in the center. And I like the ombre effect. I love the stitching. I don't even care that it has like those little marks over there. I don't care. I really like this bag and I got the earrings that I thought would have matched that bag from the Indian um, festival. I don't know if I published that video yet. I'm really upset about this one. I mean, you know what? I guarantee you there was somebody else who was eyeing the bag and they were upset that I bought it and they'll probably end up buying it because that's kind of like how things work out sometimes. So everything happens for a reason. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I was really upset. Um, 
is my first purchase from Rebag. So, and they're my client. Like I built the, all their office furniture, majority of it when they first opened their Soho location. And then they hired me to build all of the racks that they hold the actual bags on when they come in and they actually do the assessment. Uh, but then they moved to a new location and then that's when I had the miscarriage and I lost them as a client because they needed me and I couldn't work because I had to heal. And, um, and then I guess they found somebody else. So, but I still love them as a company. I love every single one of the employers, uh, employees. I love the CEO. I love everybody. I love that company. I, I brave about them. I've seen how thing work, how things work in other similar companies and the rebag actually has the best authentication process. You don't really hear a lot of scams and stuff like that on rebag like you do on the other authenticated sites. Um, because of this, their standards, their ethics and the way that they, as I love rebag. I'm a hundred percent always going to be like rebag, rebag, rebag. Um, I love that bag. All right. Until next time I love this. Bye.